Hi, this is Bob at AirDensityOnline.com illustrating the use of ProCalc to analyze a current fuel injection jetting combination. We left off on this screen, which was an air to fuel ratio calculator analysis to determine a better uh, high speed. I'm going to jump back to the baseline profiles phase and note that we have not changed the baseline. Pro this is the one that we were in and we have not made a change even though we changed that high speed in it. By design, ProCalc does not import changes into the baseline profile from any of the calculators or calculator analysis that you do. To make a permanent change to your setup, you have to go into the baseline profile to make that change. Now, before we do anything with that, I'm going to go up here to Jetting Calc. This defaults to the Jetting Calculator's main bypass, and we're still on that page. The second thing we've observed with this combination is that it's too lean. Well, this shows up here, the air to fuel ratio from the baseline profile is 4.36. Our database and our analysis of many, many, many combinations has shown that about a 4 to 1 is the optimum air to fuel ratio for this. So I'm going to put in 4 to 1 in this point. Mm -hmm. Examine it. We still have our weather in here. I'm going to leave the high speed where it is right now. Um, and then let's get air to fuel ratio. That shows that a 128 in the main bypass would uh, give me a 4 to 1 air to fuel ratio and this engine would run a lot better. Now previously we determined that that 60,000's high speed was too big. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 40,000's in here. <clears throat> Again we're asking for the 4 to 1 air to fuel ratio. Let's get main bypass. So with a 40,000 high speed, we'd need a 136 in the main. The combination of those two would give me a very good launch air to fuel ratio and a real reasonable lean out when the high speed opens. Thank you for your time.